Welcome back to Software Inc, everybody. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. I had every intention on just sitting and waiting for the inbox and the N Phone 3 to be done, or at least to go into development so we could start working on the assembly lines for both of those things. But there's been, funnily enough, a development and it's a little bit of a spanner in the works. Now, it's not bad news. It's nothing terrible. There's not been a catastrophe or anything like that, but Captain Murder Stamp 4 is due for release in January of 2011, which is a lot sooner than I was expecting. The last one came out in 2009, so it's really not that long between you know, Captain Murder Stab games at this point. So I'd kind of like to get that out, get it released, figure out if it's going to be successful or if it's too soon after the last one. I just want to make sure it's going to be okay. But I also want to go in and make sure things like Horse Simulator and Captain Murder Stab 3 and all of my other softwares are doing everything they should be doing. So if we sort by release here, we have, for example, a new phone operating system for horse simulator 3 we could probably put captain murder stab 3 on that as well we absolutely could in fact we can put it on a couple of different things there just to get some extra sales right there and i just noticed hold on a minute hold on a minute there was there's something called oh hold on a minute 100 percent. i saw i saw a console name there called the inbox or the ibox for God's sake, I've done it again. And of course, it's a console operating system. Why wouldn't it be a console operating system? And it's a friggin' successful one as well. Oh boy, how much do they want for the IP? They're not interested in selling it with me. Okay. Okay, who designed it? You designed it, all right. Okay, if I was to say poach you, what would you want? Six million, a fixed rate, exclusive lead. You wanna own the IP, you wanna, okay, yeah. You know what, maybe not worth it. Maybe I just buy the company. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, it's, yeah, I could buy that company. I've got $840 million. They've only got 132, although they were only founded a couple of years ago. So that's, ugh, okay. I mean, how are their, how are their charts looking? How are their, how are their, you know, their general info here? So I want to, can I close that? There we go. Uh, so not chart. That's the wrong button. I'm looking for these guys. I'm looking for details. So... Essentially, a good chunk of their company is owned by Testa Interactive. Their dividends are currently zero. They're currently, I guess, losing money there. I might I might buy these guys out. Not buy them out completely, but I might buy, you know, essentially 75% of the company for $100 million. And then if they sell good things, I maybe get some money. I have also seen some comments that have been like, hey, stop buying shares. You don't need to. You're making enough money as it is. So we'll figure that out. Anyway, let's get these two port jobs done here. And I guess we're looking at this January 2011 release for Murder Stab 4. And Horse Sim 4 is currently October 2012, which isn't too bad. That's not too bad at all. It's possible, I suppose, that it might come forward a little bit. But for now, we'll just assume it's going to be October 2012. Now, a little something something that I do want to do is get an update or an expansion rather out for Horse Simulator 3. And this is going to be an economy focused expansion called Stable Markets, which I can't take credit for as a name. I'm pretty sure there is a joke on one of the city skylines radio stations for some game, some expansion or something to do with horses, to do with the economy called Stable Markets. I can't remember for sure, but I feel like I remember hearing it years ago and absolutely, you know, laughing myself silly in the middle of a City Skyline series. So, Stable Markets, the economy expansion for Horse Simulator 3, 100% interest. It's already assigned. It's got all of our own stuff for the tools. Let's get that developed. It shouldn't take long at all for the updates team to, yeah, absolutely get through that in no time. Oh, actually, they're little little slow in the system design there oh never mind they're just taking it one thing at a time that's fine there's no rush to get it out as long as we don't end up in a situation where the next horse simulator is releasing before that expansion i think we're fine now in terms of people retiring not a huge deal there either we're doing okay we are really getting a lot of people retiring 
It'd be nice if I could filter that out so it only tells me if a team leader retires, because really that's all I need to know about, but it's fine. Now, another little something something that I want to do is I do want to update the end phone too, because it's starting to, it's not losing money, but it's not making anywhere near as much as it used to be. And I'd like to go in and see if we can maybe update NerdOS 2 as well. We can bring the networking up to date, the audio up to date, the 3D, the 2D, and the systems, just everything up to date. It's going to take about a year to do that. That's fine. We'll go ahead and just sort of minimize those and let them happen in their own time. And hopefully that's going to bring us just a little bit of cash for the Enphone 2 and NerdOS. Which, to be fair, the Enphone 2 came out... Ooh... The Enphone 2 only, I mean, well, I guess it did come out four years ago. So a phone not really making that much money four years later, especially as we're going into the 2010s, that's probably fair enough. And then NerdOS is a six-year-old operating system. It's still making some money. Still has uh, you know, three quarters of a million active users. That's not too bad. I'd like, I'd like a bit more than that, though. So hopefully these updates do something, and we probably should get around to making another nerd os now speaking of making things and operating systems and all that stuff i did see a couple of comments that mentioned that i'm way too worried about the wasted interest in my products and that i could just theoretically max out all of the stats and make something absolutely revolutionary and to be honest, I agree. I, I probably could do that. And I might start doing that once we start cornering parts of the market. Because I think there's a really good chance that I'm going to corner parts of the market before we start making revolutionary things. And what I mean by that is I'm going to try and get the end phone to be the phone to have. I'm going to try and get the inbox to be the console to have and NerdOS to be the operating system to have. So once we do that... Assuming we corner the market and we are kind of the top dogs in those fields, we can kind of just go and say, hey, here's everything you could ever want. The other reason I'm not doing that is that is essentially game over in software inc. You have designed everything you could design. You can automate it all you want, but you're going to make the same thing every time. So it's not a lose state. It's not game over. You lost. It's game over. You've kind of beat the game. So I'm, I'm just taking my time with it. Also, I want to just... I know I should stop buying shares, but I'm kind of enjoying the fact that I'm gradually taking over more and more of this company. I don't know why. I, I really, I don't know why I'm bothering to do this. I could get $21 million if I went and sold my shares right now, but we'll, we'll just not worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no, this is a bit tricky. Carmen Nichols, the leader of the games team, has retired after 10 years with $11,000. That's really not too good. So we need to get a new leader for the games team, essentially. So let's take a bit of a look and see what we can do there. So we're looking for a leader. We're going to be looking for, I guess, a programmer. We're going to be looking for, I guess, a fast learner, unless there's something else that'd be more beneficial to a team leader, which I'm not 100% sure there really is. So it has below average salary requirements. Hello, I will absolutely take that one. I also don't want anyone that's going to be bringing in you know, the plague. So let's begin looking. And we're looking for not contract marketing. Instead, we're looking for games day. In terms of compatibility, we have two normals. And the problem here is neither of them can do HR. So let's search again. We're going to sort of, uh, we'll take silent but deadly out of there. Hopefully getting us a couple more applicants. And let's begin looking. And it's not really any better. Oh boy, um, I think we're going to have to take Sebastian Murray, which is a bit annoying because the compatibility is bad, but HR and socialization are kind of important. So we're going to hire you to that team and it's, it's probably going to be a disaster for the game's day shift, but frankly, it's, it's whatever. Let's uh, go to employees. Let's sort by years with the company and let's change your role to that of a leader. And you can do secondary design and programming and art, I guess. You're probably terrible at art, actually. You absolutely are. You can do secondary design is what you can do. So there we go. The games team has been sorted out. We have a leader for it, even if the leader's probably terrible for them. That's, it's whatever. Why is, oh, oh, why did so many people just retire? Uh, Captain Motorstab, I think, just lost its, 
Yeah, it just lost its leader. That's a problem. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Oh, boy. I need to assign... Who can I... Ass oh, boy. I need to assign someone to this project that's actually going to be good at it, I guess. But it doesn't show me their stats. It's current... Wait. Is it supposed to be assigned to me? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, that does... Okay, so now I can see the stats. I mean, I guess we should assign it to one of the games teams, right? Like, maybe Sarah Huffman? should run that since it was a, it was a, I think she's running the, yeah, she's running horse simulator. So Sarah is now, oh boy, man, a couple of months out from launch and the person in charge of Captain Motorstab 4 retires. That is not a good omen for a game. Oh wow. So it turns out the update for Enphone 2 and NerdOS has absolutely brought in a little bit more money right there, which is beautiful news. We can take a bit of a look here and see that last month, it brought in 2 million and NerdOS did 2.1. So that's lovely. That's kind of what we were looking for. We wanted to bring those up to date. Now, we're still making pretty good money from our subscriptions, I think. Yes, yeah, 6.6 .6 million. That's not bad. And I've also noticed that Horse Simulator has been brought forward to August 2012. So that's brilliant news. And in the spirit of bringing things forward, I actually decided to bring Stable Markets up to January 2011, so it's going to be going out in the same month as Captain Motorstab 4, but it also has almost 300,000 followers, so here's what I'm going to do, and this is another little thing I saw, I saw in the comments, I saw, you know, people were like, hey, buddy, you had half a million people interested in buying your thing, yet for some reason, you only printed 100,000, so... We'll set a maximum of 300,000 copies right there. We'll print them all. We'll get them in stock and we'll see if Stable Markets is a runaway success. We'll see if perhaps the horse bolts the stable. And uh, <laughs> uh, I really need to write down more horse jokes for this series. I don't have enough of them. All right. So it's January 2011. Captain Motor Stamp 4 should be going out any second now. Let's go ahead and release Stable Markets and see what people think of it. We have hopefully five, four. I'll take four. I'll take five. And I'll take five. Okay. Almost a perfect score. Here's what I'm going to do. I've seen, I've been reading the comments. I've said it a couple of times in this video. I've been reading the comments. I saw some more comments that were like, hey, hey, buddy. Hey, you. <laughs> that was like, I don't know what that was. That was, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Hey. You, listen, all right, you need to set your, your marketing budget higher. So I'm going to go for 150000 on this. I have seen a few that have mentioned do like a million dollars because you can afford it. 150000 is fine. I, I think we'll we'll manage with 150000 So that's out the door now. That's that's great news. And I kind of want to see Captain Murder Stab 4 get out the door as quick as possible because it hasn't yet. Uh, you weren't a team leader, were you? No, okay. It's, it's still very much, still very much in, oh boy, you guys are, it is in beta, it has 35,000 followers, I feel like it should be released by now, <laughs> getting a little concerned, guys, getting a little concerned that Captain Motorstab hasn't been released, I feel, I don't care, where's, where's my game here, guy? oh no, I feel like the switch to Sarah Huffman might have uh, caused us some problems here. Did it release? It didn't? Hello? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, is it done? Hold on, we need someone else to do. We need, we need someone else to lead this. It can't be Sarah. She can't do both of them. Oh, it's because the leader. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's have, I suppose, where's the other games guy? Games there. Let's just have me lead it, I guess. I don't know if that's going to help us out. Actually, I think my creativity is relatively limited. What about like you, Graham Sykes? You do 2D day shift stuff, so that should be fine. It is rapidly losing followers, though. I think I'm going to have to take it over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to take it over. It is in beta, which is fine. So let's let's reassign the release date. Let's say it's going to be March of 2011. We are going to lose some followers there. 
Will 21 hours to release the product? Sure. It's, it is 100% going to lose followers by doing that. But we'll throw out a press build. We'll start working on this right here. We're going to try to... Uh, hype isn't going to save this thing at all. Wow, that percentage is terrifying. Um, yeah, hype is not going to save that whatsoever. I It had to be pushed back. It's as simple as that. For, it didn't get released. I'm not going to try and just turn it out in February. I probably should have, but it's fine. I It was delayed at the 11th hour, and... I I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do now. Also, the inbox. We need to go and do the manufacturing for that shortly. But I I want to see if I can I can get this this done at all, and just maybe get some followers back for Captain Motor Stamp Four. There we. Oh no, it is. It's still trying to lose followers. The the press thing went out. Okay, it's gaining them again, which is nice. So that's fine. Oh man, that was rough. That's that was rough to see, but at least it's you know people are interested. Let's uh, let's go and print this thing. I'm gonna take a chance at 150,000 units. We'll try and get those in stock, and I guess we'll just we'll just push this thing out and hope for the best. So let's release it. Is it good? It actually is. It is it is pretty good. Uh, so that's that's good to see. Marketing campaign for this. I'm actually gonna go higher. I'm gonna go to two hundred thousand dollars just to. Uh, just to hope for the best there. And we'll push support up to the top. We'll push marketing right up to the top there. And we need to prioritize both Captain Motors tab. Oh, Stable Markets did 3 million. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. Uh, bring you down to like an 8. Bring you down to like an 8. Bring you down to like an 8 as well. You're going to be like a 6. And you're going to be like a 6 as well. Okay. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, Captain Motors tab has nothing assigned to it right now because we had to take over the last one at the uh at the 11th hour but thankfully we you know things have started and the game has galloped out the <laughs> it's it's galloping away furlong by furlong and is hopefully going to be good so it was oh, i don't know who to assign to this now i really don't know who to, who to assign to this i guess graham sykes is probably a good shout but graham I mean, let's, let's, what is it, 2D team or something like that? Who, how long has Graham been with us? So if we look at years with the company, Graham Sykes, yeah, he's one of the founders. He's 31 years with us. He's probably got another couple of years in him. I think it's about 64 that people tend to retire. So we're actually about to lose a chunk of team leaders right there. But I think, I think we could probably put Graham Sykes on this. Or we could, in theory, I guess, maybe put me on it? What happens if I put me on the project? It looks like it's kind of limited. It looks like I can't go above those design points right there. Whereas Graham, I think, can. And then you can as well. You can as well. Let's Yeah, let's just give it to Graham and see what happens. And then we need to go and manually assign a sequel to this. So... I guess it's, I guess, yeah, we're going to make a sequel. It's going to be Captain Murder Stab 5, or we could just reboot it after the disastrous launch of this last one. Uh, but we'll see. So sequels wise, apparently they've done nothing new in all of them, which is surprising. So let's, let's try and bring it up to date a little bit. Let's, let's have this be when we decide to, you know, throw multiplayer in there. Let's have recorded dialogue. Let's have post-processing and advanced HUD. Let's, what is reverse Uno? The Gates lead designer IP ownership on release. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, we'll give it cutscenes, And that's probably fine. That's a lot of wasted interest, but it's going to make this thing better. In terms of the thing for it here, we have the Nerdersoft game engine, but the tech levels for that are pretty terrible. So we'll throw it in there, but we're going to try and bring all the tech up to date. And I... I think bringing the tech up to date is going to completely invalidate the uh, the the engine. So that's fine. I guess we'll just use a new one is what we'll do. Oh, wait. No, using the Nerdsoft game engine is the way to go. Okay. So bring all of the tech up to date. And I guess maybe this updates the game engine in the process. I really have no idea. But we'll throw all this in here. It's going to be Captain Murder Stab. And hopefully it's going to be good.
So it turns out I had to go back to Captain Motorstab 5 as the name, but that's fine. It is also being designed and developed for the inbox. So it's not going to release until that goes out. But in theory, the inbox, I would imagine, is going to go out by the end of 2012. It's not even a quarter. Well, it's about a quarter of the way through 2011. So I think we're going to take a chance on this. Let's let's take a look at upcoming releases and let's see what's coming in 2012. So nothing interesting there. Or Simulator 4. We have do we have any console operating systems? We do. We have the GoFriend 3 in December. So I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to say September 2012 is when the inbox is going to go out. I don't know if that's a good idea to try and undercut the competition, but it's what we're going to do. We're going to throw some marketing at this. We are going to attempt to hype this thing as well. And hopefully that's going to do wonderful things for us. Now, what we really need to do is look at the manufacturing for this guy, which is thankfully relatively simple. This is not a complicated production chain or assembly line at all. So what I could probably do is just cram it in here, bring it downstairs in here and push it out that way. But I actually kind of like the idea of, um, to be honest, trying to put it in this space to bring it down into this space. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So having a look at it, we're going to need four controller printers. So, so let's get these guys facing that way. And let's go one, two, three, four of those. We need some plastic printers, which can go over here. And then we're going to need some motherboard assemblers. So what we'll do with those is, let's see. Well, I guess we could... I mean, we could we could try and split these, but I, I don't think we need to. Um, I think what we can do is just something like this, something like this, something like this. And then final assembly seems to only need one assembler, which is slightly surprising, but I'm not really going to complain too much about that. So I'll do something like this, I guess. Now, that is blocking a window, which I don't absolutely love. So let me grab these guys and move them over by one. Let me grab you and move you over by one. And the way I'm looking at this is quite simply, those guys go in there and you go there and you go there. You are going to go that way and that way. And that should be motherboards, case, and then final assemblies here. So in theory, what we can do is just push all of this out. We can go something like this and that. And now that gives us final assembly. So this set here need to be for console operating systems and controllers. This set here need to be for the plastic. This right here needs to be assembly for the motherboard. This right here needs to be assembly for... Oh, this needed two assemblers. Hold on a minute. I have been a bit of an idiot there. So let me grab you and just duplicate. So you guys are going to be doing the case. And then this is going to be, I guess, final assembly. So it's all going to the right places. And what we'll do is bring this to here. We can go and throw a recycler just in case. And then what I'll do is I'm going to have them come down in that corner. So essentially, we'll have the conveyor belt go here, there, and around. Something like that. So it goes into the corner. It goes downstairs. In fact, we could probably simplify that a little bit and make it slightly nicer looking up here by just putting the recycler right about there. So that looks a little... Or something, not the recycler, the, uh, the chute, a little, you know, right about there. And the reason I've done it there is because I want to try and get a bit of storage in here. I think that might be a pretty good idea to, you know, try and actually store some of the uh, the consoles. So let's just get rid of you and let's bring this straight over to, I guess that spot is, is what we're going to be looking for. So we'll go to here. We can elevate it. And what I want to do is go one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And then I need to, I guess I could probably do like two of them right here as well. So that should be fine. It's going to be a little bit of storage. It's not going to be anywhere near as much as I was hoping for, but 
it's a little bit. Or I could potentially do this slightly differently. I could go one, two, maybe three, something like that should work out. And then if I grab these conveyor belts and bring them sort of down this way, and then we bring them down here, we bring them sort of around, we bring them straight across, and then this guy goes to here. That should be fine. That'll give us, like I said, a bit of storage, and that's kind of what I'm wanting. So basically, we want to throw this guy on here, and we want to throw this guy on here. So that's going to drop it off and then pick it up. And we can just copy and paste that to all of these. And just like that, we have a tiny little console assembly line, and I absolutely love it. I don't love that people are just walking through there, but I love that we have this, and I love that it has storage downstairs, and it's exactly what I wanted it to be. Now, let's see, someone has to pee, that's whatever, I'm not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and get this thing assigned to its manufacturing line. So, assembly line zero, I'm guessing, is, yep, the console operating system. Let's just rename that to the inbox uh, console, so that we know what we're talking about there. And I guess it is, it is assigned. So, do we want to start making copies of this? I suppose we probably do. We probably want to say, let's say 100,000. I don't know how expensive this thing is going to be to produce, but there we go. It's uh, it's on its way, which is kind of fantastic. So we should see eventually. Yeah, there it, go, there it goes. We got the console heading out. It should start going into storage as soon as this fills up, which it absolutely is doing, which is exactly what we want it doing. So that's absolutely perfect. That is exactly what we want to see. We've got some couriers coming along to pick it up as well. And honestly, September 2012 might be... Uh, that might It might be a little far away for this thing. I think we could probably get it done sooner, but I'm not really super stressed about it. I also like that the controller is already... You know, it's assigned to the same thing. I, li I like that a lot. Let's, I guess, start marketing the controller as well. And let's go ahead and throw, I guess, a press build out there. Let's also hype the controller a little bit. I think it'd be interesting to see. And it'd be, it'd be an interesting world where the controller is revealed first. In fact, did Sony do that with the most recent PlayStation? I don't know if they did. I feel like they did. I feel like the controller was revealed and then the the console, but I might I might be making that up. I really have I have no idea. Uh, I'm also aware that. The console is now not going through these conveyor belts in the hallways, which is slightly disappointing, but I guess the idea is that eventually we're going to make a much, much better one, and it's going to need a bigger production uh, assembly line, so it should be all right. We can eventually turn all of these floors into just these giant factories that they're supposed to be. I've also just noticed that Captain Murder Stab 4 actually is making money. It is outstanding. It's inspiring. It has... Not I don't think it's going to make as much as the originals, but that's probably fine. And then Captain Motor Stab 5 is in design. It's, yeah. Captain Motor Stab 5, I think, is going to take a few years to uh, to get out there. Which is a shame. We were on a really good roll with that, and then we completely screwed it up. So, it's it's definitely a shame, but we'll we'll manage. We'll get there. We'll, we'll, we'll bring it back around at some point. Inventory is broken and needs maintenance. Interesting. Do we not have enough mechanics? I feel like we don't. Because all these lights just keep breaking. How how does this keep happening? Oh, wait. No, it has all been fixed. All right. Oh, God. More people are retiring. It wasn't a team leader. No, it's marketing, though. Losing marketers is slightly terrifying. I've got to be honest. Because they're the people that, you know, actually help these things that we make sell. That is terrifying, losing those guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bug blocker just went into the public domain? What? That's a thing? Oh my god. I didn't... Owner, public domain, creator, nerd herself. Does that mean that we can no longer make... Oh god, does... that means anybody can make bug blocker, doesn't it? That is... Yeah, it's not even here anymore. It's not even in my... Uh... Oh no. <laughs> I don't... What, is, what does it mean when it goes into public domain? So is it no longer, like, a thing? Is it no longer... Oh, no. I don't... I don't know how I feel about that. 
so can I can I not make another one now? I mean, it, it was it was almost 20 years ago that we released the last one. We kind of did forget about old bug blocker on its floppy disks. Kind of kind of forgot about that one. Oh, man. I kind of wanted to bring it back. I'm going to be honest. And now I'm slightly terrified. Like, what else have I not made in a while? I mean, I, I haven't I haven't made. Well, we've been making, we've made Vector in recent years, I suppose. We made Amplitude. We, we brought Horse Simulator back. It's probably a good thing that we did that. Because I guess there's a chance Horse Simulator might have went into the public domain as well, which would have been dreadful. Speaking of Horse Simulator, by the way, the expansion has made 10 million. It's made more than the expansion for Captain Motor Stamp 3, which is kind of great. Uh, Captain Motor Stamp 4, by the way, not doing very good for itself, but uh, let's try and update it a little bit. In fact, let me go and update all of my other stuff first. Uh, so the 2D editor is going to have to be where we start. So Vector Studio, let's bring it up to date as best we can. And let's get that to be a priority, please. And then Vertex, we're going to want to bring the 3D up to date on that and the system. So we'll get that done as well. And then hopefully in doing this, we can then apply our own tech to our own products again, like we've been, you know, trying to do for the most part. Looks like these updates will go pretty well as, as well. And then it also looks like Inbox is about to go into beta, which is very, very exciting. So are you going to be done? No, you're not. Everyone's going home. They're not going to finish their work. That's fine. The night shift team can finish that one and finish that one now. We go to Amplitude, we update, we want to bring the system up to date and the 2D up to date, which means I can use Vector Studio to do that. So let's absolutely do that. And we will prioritize this update, which should take no time whatsoever. Oh, inbox is ready for beta. Let's do it. All right. So all of that's been updated. Let's now go and update Captain Murder Stamp 4. So we want to bring all of these tools and tech uh, things up to date. So it's going to be Amplitude Studio. It's going to be Vertex. It'd be, oh, 2009 tech level would be, not, I'm going to, I'm going to use the license for it. And then this guy can be Vector Studio. So that's fine. We can absolutely do that. We'll bring Captain Murder Stab 4 up to date a little bit. Horse Sim 3. When is the next one out? January 2012. They brought it forward again. Wow. Okay. So, assuming Sarah Huffman doesn't retire, we'll actually have Horse Sim uh, 4 coming out shortly. So, I guess let's get an expansion for <laughs> Captain Murder Stab 4. Oh, boy. I wonder what this is going to be. <laughs> now, what's interesting on this one is I can't actually max out the gameplay, which is new. But we're going to go for Stabby Face Begins. This expansion for the Captain Murder Stab franchise is a prequel. It is the origin story of Sergeant Stabby Face, who, as we know, based on recent expansions for recent games, was a sergeant. He was dishonorably discharged, but it wasn't his fault. He then came back with a vengeance to clear his name, get his rank back, get back to work, and do what he does best. Stab Faces. We're now going to discover in Stabby Face Begins where it all began for then cadet <laughs> stabby face <laughs> all right yeah um <laughs> sure um let's let's develop that let's get that going that'll be that'll be great that'll be that'll be great uh let me make sure that we haven't lost any team leaders we <laughs> we haven't um all right beautiful that's uh it's gonna be a beautiful game is uh is, is what that's gonna be it's gonna be amazing everyone's gonna love stabby face begins all right, the Murder Stab 4 update is out. We are now ready to start developing Stabby Face Begins, which really probably isn't going to take that long. So let's set a... Well, when did Captain Murder Stab 4 come out? It was March 2011. So let's go for March of 2012 for the release date, which I think we can probably hit. Let's immediately start marketing this thing because that's going to be kind of important. And let's see what else we're looking at. Horse Sim in January... So, Inbox is in beta, right? I feel like we could bring this forward. I feel like we could bring this forward. I'm going to be honest. I might regret this, but I'm I'm wanting to... I want to do it. 
I want to do it. I want to look at upcoming releases. This December, we do not, by the looks of it, have any console operating systems. And we don't have any console operating systems until next December. So, Inbox is going to be brought forward by nine months to release this December. In fact, let's let's say February 2012, actually. Let's say it's going to be the month after Horse Sim 4, and then we can port Horse Sim 4 to the new operating system. So February of 2012, we'll have three months to release this thing. And hopefully that's going to be enough. And then Stabby Face Returns gets... Well, we're going to have to port a lot of things to it, quite frankly. In fact, I wonder, is that a thing... If I say port, can I say port it to something that's not out yet? I absolutely can. So port it to Inbox. Uh, port this guy to Inbox as well. Uh, we'll port Murder Stab 3 to Inbox. We probably could port it to the phone as well, but I'm not really super stressed about that. Uh, Murder Stab 2, let's bring that to uh, Inbox, I guess. And uh, let's see, Murder Stab the original. Can we port that over to Inbox? We absolutely can. Okay. So we're going to port all of our games back to the original Captain Murder Stab to Inbox. In fact, can I port the... Oh, it's archived. Never mind. All right. It shouldn't take long to do that, though, I would imagine. Although my updates team, I think, is... Yeah, they're, they're doing pretty well on that. Let's focus on the stabby face thing, though, since that is, you know, where I want most of the efforts going. And uh, looking at it, my the art is actually what's holding me back here, which is slightly surprising. Wasn't really wasn't really expecting that, but uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and assign... Wait, what is it holding us back? 3D art? Okay. Let's very quickly assign the 3D team to this, and that will help us out massively. So that's exactly what we wanted. The 2D art's also slowing down a little bit, but that's fine. Oh, God, someone died. Eef. All right. Well, fair enough. We're also about to become a billion-dollar company, by the way. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, and Phone 3, not really worried about that right now. Uh, there's nothing I can really end marketing on. We're making money on, on a lot of things right now. I'm not really interested in scrapping marketing for... Any, well, stable markets, I guess. These guys are still making money. Enphone 2 and Nerd... Maybe... Maybe... Eh, I guess Enphone 2 will end since we have got the new one in development. Inbox is fine. Inbox controller is fine. Stabby Face Begins, in theory, should be done today. And then moved into beta. So it's going to... Yeah, it's absolutely going to hit its release date, which is beautiful. So let, let's let's promote that. Let's throw out a press build and see what people think of it. I think we're being robbed. Are we being robbed? I hear a siren. Oh, we might have been getting robbed. But uh, I don't think they got away with anything. Oh, they absolutely... Oh, for God's sake. All right. Well, I'd like that back, please. Okay. So, yeah, these, these port jobs are going ahead. This is done, so we'll throw that out there. Stabby Face begins, 100,000 people interested, so let's immediately start printing this thing. We'll go for 250,000 units. Is that increasing sales of Captain Murder Stab? It might be. It definitely might be, but we'll, we'll just pay attention to it and see what happens. This thing is relatively bug-free, which is great. You weren't a team leader? No. Okay. I'm feeling quite... Ooh, other teams occupying their office. Where? Audio. Oh, it's day and... Yeah, it's it's the day and night teams were sort of overlapping there, which is fine. Not really super worried about that. Also not a night... Not a team leader, so that's fine. A lot of... Th oh, my God. A lot of things going on. Okay. Not a team leader, so it's fine. Oh, now this is interesting. This company that I keep buying shares in has 10% of it owned by private investors, so I now own 36.3% of this company... And dividends are 335814 So that's not bad. That is not bad at all. I could sell my shares for $34 million, get myself a little bit of money. But here's the thing. I don't think I need to do that because we now are so close to being a billion-dollar company. We're, what is that, half a million off right now? So we're going to be starting... 2012 as a billion dollar company and i'm here for it 
I am absolutely here for it. And now we're just waiting on the release of inbox for all these port jobs to get done, which is kind of great news. Can I can I add some things here? Let's have a quick look at release dates. Because, yeah, in OS, for example, oh my god, there's actually a lot of uh, operating systems that I should be putting my games on. So you, for example, you, 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 definitely, definitely you, definitely you. That's not, there's still a hundred million, there's a hundred thousand people still using Nerd OS. Uh, so let's get Captain Murder Stab 4 pointed to all of those. Horse Sim 3, I'm not super stressed about. And uh, this port job is probably going to take a while. So let's slow that down a little bit. Since uh, we're going to have to update Horse Simulator 4 when it releases next month. Let's just double check that we are printing it. We are not. Oh, wait, no, we don't need to. It should, it should, in theory, have already been printed. I think. There should be units in stock is what I'm getting at here. In theory. Yeah, 50,000 copies. Let's let's increase that to 150,000 copies. I don't know if we've actually finished that print job or not, but we'll do 150,000 copies and we should be all right. And there it is. Wait, they just released it early? What? Is it good? It's outstanding. Creativity is only ordinary, but the last one was ordinary as well, so that's all right. Doesn't need a lot of money to make a profit, so let's uh, start porting immediately. I think that's going to be kind of a big deal on this. We want to throw it to all of those as well as inbox and hit OK. We want to hit this with an update. We want to bring networking up to date, audio up to date, 3D needs to come up to date, 2D absolutely needs to be up to date, and systems as well. We probably need to go back to the drawing board, to be brutally honest, with, um, with a lot of this stuff. Uh, because looking at it, the tech levels of this, the, the stuff coming out here, it's not very good. We have these big sweeping updates happening every single time we put out these games. And that's all right. If we can manage to get these like big day one updates, then fantastic. But what, why did I just lose money? Oh, I probably, wait, was it, it was, wasn't bills, was it distribution? No. How did I just manage to lose, wasn't salaries? What am I looking at here? Benefits. Benefits? Uh, interesting. I'm not 100% sure where that came from, but all right. I, yeah, I'm not 100% not sure there. Oh my God, these guys are, these guys are selling a good chunk of their company. Um, all right. Well, I guess that's fine. I'm not, wait, stocks, minus 5 million. Oh, okay, minus 5 million in stocks, minus 9 million in stocks. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we weren't making that much money, but we are a billion dollar company, so it really doesn't matter. Now, uh, this horse sim update looks like it's going to be good to go. Horse sim did, by the looks of it, make money. Not much, but it has made money and has made a profit. So the update, along with the... An eventual port and expansion will probably help us out a little bit. But what is terrifying is that next month we're releasing a console. And that console doesn't have a lot of followers. Uh, so we'll throw a press build out and we'll see what people think. I'm hoping for some good things here. I am glad it's got a lot of bugs being fixed. That's that's nice. That's, that's good. Uh, the controller has some bugs being fixed as well. Oh boy, Stabby Face begins. When is it out? It's in March. It has half a million followers. Okay, we might need to uh, we might need to print more copies of that then. So let's do five hundred thousand. Let's just. Oh boy. Now there's no there's no way it's gonna sell five hundred thousand. Is there? Is there? Is is that a hmm? Stable Markets has three hundred thousand in stock. It sold no prints stabby face returns sold no prints and sergeant stabby face pack sold no prints are we selling whoa 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 are we selling these expansions as digital only is that how that works interesting that's that's potentially very very interesting that the expansions might be digital only also let's have a look at deals real quick and see what we're, what people want from me a lot of hosting a lot of hosting. Interesting. Okay, so let's let's look at the contract hosting server and let's see if it can handle 
all of this because I am curious. Uh, so where's my servers? Right there. So contract hosting, bandwidth 200. Uh, it's fine. It's got a 10% load. That's fine. Not bad. Okay. You know what I've just remembered? I can go and update all of my computers. I can, I can update all of them, I think. So if I select this one, I, I'm pretty sure I can replace it now with the... Oh, it's 2015. Okay. Can I update my servers? I have servers downstairs, right? Yeah. Can I update these guys with, like, this thing? Yeah. So we could go for the big server rack, which is 50 gigabit per second. Wow. That's, that's chunky. That is, that is a chunky server. I don't think we need to right now, though. So I think we're fine. Let's just... It's about to be February. We made some money. These guys are selling more stocks. Another 4.7%. I'm not going to buy it right now because I just don't need to. But it's February. It's it's February 2012. We're, we're, we're releasing a console. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know how much faith I have in this thing. I've got to be honest. I really don't. But let's uh let's do it let's release the inbox is it good no one's gonna know who we are in the console field so three stars four stars three stars Ugh. two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for marketing that was the controller oh no i'll go for the ibox three are you kidding me oh i'll take that Okay, I'll take that. I will take that. 250000 again for marketing on this thing. Let me pause. Let me bring this up to the top because we kind of need to rearrange some things. So that's the controller, priority 10. And then for the, the inbox, we want to bring that up to the top and it's priority 10. For Captain Motor Stab, going to bring you down to 8. Uh, these guys are all 6. And you are a 2. You're going to go down to 1. So that's okay. Uh, support for inbox is going to go to priority 10 and then support for the controller is not a thing. So that's okay. This update for horse sim is done. Uh, stabby face begins is next month. N phone three is now full steam ahead. Oh boy. Okay. Um, let's end marketing for Nerd OS two, since I don't think we need to be doing that. And let's bring your priority down a little bit. Your priority one, one one uh and phone two it would be nice to cancel support for these guys but i don't think we need to i think i think we're okay let's was it good that's the question inbox it is outstanding marketing is sparse but that's fine we could interestingly make another controller for it but i think we should update it i think that's probably what we want to do bring the tech levels nicely up to date on this thing throw an update out there make that the top priority for those guys uh add-ons is going to include the inbox controller which we can't really do much with so we'll not worry too much about that okay um i huh <laughs> okay we're fine we're fine we can do a joy we can do another controller if we really want to at some point but right now we're fine. Let's just try and get this uh, get this update out here. The networking side of things is slowing us down. So let me throw my network teams onto that to see if we can just speed up this update ever so slightly and get it done today. It needs to be a day one update. It needs to be a day one update because we need this thing to be good. Katrina Lynch is retired. You were a team leader for networking. Weren't you a founder? Hold on a minute. Was Katrina Lynch not a founder? Years with company? No. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. So, we... Oh, boy. Assuming that wasn't a... So, what What were you? You were network daytime leader. All right. Let's very quickly go to hire employees. We're looking for a leader. High salary. Uh, I really don't want you to have the flu. We'll just go for whatever. Begin looking. And we're looking for... Uh, network daytime. So network daytime compatibility. We have some normals. Uh, let's see. Can I get anyone with? Can I get you to have HR and socialization? It doesn't look like I can. But you? Does anyone have HR? You have a bit of socialization. So Rocco Finley. That's fine. You're hired to the network daytime team, and then we can go to those guys and get them sorted. So employees, years with company, Rocco. 
you are going to be the leader and you can do a little bit of programming on the side and a little bit of art on the side if you really want to. So that should keep us good. That should, uh, that should keep those guys in check. All right. Is this update going to be done? It looks like it absolutely is. Finish the inbox update or the inbox update. And it looks like marketing is actually quite slow right now. We need more marketers. That's interesting. We need more marketers. Inbox, is it going to make money? It made $12 million. The controller did not. Interesting. And the supported operating systems for Captain Motorstab 2 no longer have any users to sell to. That's slightly depressing. Um, still has people interested in buying it, though. So I'm more than happy to just port it to like all of those operating systems. That's that's fine by me. We might as well. It'll give us uh give us a little boost in sales. But yeah, inbox it made it made money. It made money. And now it's March 2012, so that means Stabby Face Begins has to go out. It's losing followers as well, so let's release it while it has followers. And it's five stars across the board. Marketing for this thing, $125,000. We'll throw that money at it. We'll make it a, I guess, a priority 10, and we'll push it up to the top. So we'll see if people are interested in Stabby Face Begins. I really do think we need to, uh, let's bring these down to like a three. They are still making money, but they really don't need to be priorities for, uh, for marketing. Bring you down to like a six. And hopefully that means we can really, you know, focus up on, on what's important for marketing here. I just think my marketers, my marketers just can't really keep up with what I'm trying to do. I think it's, it's kind of that simple. So I do think we're going to need another marketing team, but it's, it's, it's whatever. We're still, we're still marketing these things. This is prominent at the very least. So that's all right. It should in theory make some money. I mean, 12 million is not bad, and that becomes 7 million, which is pretty bad. Uh, the controller made some money as well. Widespread now. It has made a profit. Wait, the add-on lost... Oh, my God. The, oh, all right, the add-on needs to make more money. I think we need more marketing. I think, I think we need more marketing. But we got a console out there, so... It's not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. We're doing okay. We have Captain Motorstab 5, <laughs> November 2017 is when that one's due. That's slightly depressing. And Horse Simulator 5, March 2015. Interesting. We're taking a couple of years off from games, it would seem. But that's fine. It's not the end of the world. We are still making money. We have over a billion dollars, which is frankly incredible. And I wasn't really expecting to get Nerdresoft to be a billion dollar company. But here we are. It is a little weird kind of forgetting about this building right here. We haven't looked at this little printing facility in what feels like forever. But I think that's kind of the idea. This thing is essentially just an automated printing factory for products and phones and stuff like that but to be honest i think once the end phone 3 goes out i want to make a really good phone i want to throw every feature at it and to be honest i want to do the same with an inbox 2. i think it is probably fair to say that we can start to forget about wasted interest because we are a billion dollar company i don't think wasted interest is too big a deal at this point I think we start making consoles and phones and computer operating systems that are just, frankly, the best of the best. But that's going to be something for a future episode because, well, the cinematic shots are rolling, so you know what that means. That is absolutely going to do us for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Buh bye bye